The town of Normal's legally confirmed status as a town now has citizens asking for new positions to be put on the ballot. Lizzie Siles breaks down the fight for and against putting the town clerk, supervisor and collector on the ballot. Lizzie. Yeah, Amber and Tyler, those three positions have never been seen on a town of normal ballot before. Now that's because, according to town code, they aren't elected positions. The three residents who filed for those offices are arguing that normal isn't complying with state law by having those positions go unelected. Normal was reaffirmed of its legal town status during a different courtroom election battle earlier this year. However, state law requires towns with more than 25,000 residents to elect a supervisor, collector, and clerk. The attorney for citizens objecting to putting those spots on the ballot say these positions would be redundant. There are already supervisors and there are already uh, collectors in the city limits of the town of Normal. It's just that they are employed by the townships that are in the town of Normal. To the extent it's redundant or it's not necessary that that may be true, that's an issue for the town to take up with the legislature. That's not a reason that they can just ignore the state law and say we're not going to have this elected office. The attorney for the three residents that filed petitions recently lost a bid for attorney general against incumbent Kwame Raoul. Now, the normal electoral board left the meeting without setting up the next date for the hearing, leaving it up to the chair of the board. Back to you in the studio.